Okay, guys, we're going to try and get this uh, stove working so we can have some heat. Let's see if we have all the stuff that we need inside the shipping container. And hope that it's not over by the truck. Huh, Kimmy? Yes, exactly. <laughs> So excited that we're finally getting some good weather days. Yes. <laughs> Look at this sun. Sunshine. Okay, guys, I think I've actually figured out what is wrong. And I read the directions. Okay, so when you're looking behind the stove itself, way down here, at the very, very bottom, there's a pipe. And that's an air intake pipe. So we need to put another hole in the shipping container. Got it. Had to run to the truck, which is really far from the house right now, to get the tools so that we can do this. <laughs> I full on panicked. I was like, why does this three inch pipe look so much bigger than this three inch cutting tool? Because you have to close these up. So this is all I could find at the store. There's pretty much nothing available for wood stoves because smart people got theirs done. <laughs> A long time ago. So um, I'm hoping this will work for this year. We're trying to get this up and going. So the plan is measure and level and cut a hole and then stick this on there and then move on to other things. <laughs> we just luck. <laughs> okay. Who of you guys have actually put these things together? They are so difficult. <laughs> this may be a Kira, a Kira thing. Because it's a strong hand thing. Okay, I'm gonna pass it off. So this has to slide down into that and then it kind of hooks. It has to go all the way down and you can't bend it too much. So I'm passing the baton. So much pressure. about six and a half inches from the edge of the shipping container so if we go outside we should be able to measure up I don't know if I can get my drill with the bit on here to even start a hole oh boy <laughs> yeah so if we measure up six and a half inches we'll be at the bottom of this and then this hole is three inches so we'll go up Eight inches should put us in the center of this. We may have to use all the tools. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking it's this one, but it could be this one. <laughs> this could end badly. You're gonna need this. Oh. Oops, here. I think you like this one better. I do like that one. <laughs> Um, because it's right under this pipe, so I think it's this one is where it goes. It's kind of important we know which one it goes in. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs>
for this because my bit cannot touch the center point <laughs> to actually cut this out. Now if it was over a little bit, nope, still wouldn't work. Yes, with the birds out and the flies out, the bees and the wasps, wasps. will be next. And we don't want what we had last year. No. <laughs> hey guys, I'm just reading your comments on the video that I put out, which would be today, March 3rd, on my depression. And I just love all of you guys that are super supportive and understand. And it's not something that I normally want to show, but I just thought this is my journey and I want to be transparent and I want to show you what's going on. So... They'll get more upbeat from here. <laughs> Bear with us. But thanks for watching. We appreciate you. And how can you not be happy on a sunny day like this? Checking with Mr. Google Pants because I know that's wrong, but it was all that we had available to us. Air intake pipe for wood stove at Heather's house. Sin. <laughs> oh, there's all kinds of things. <laughs> Stove. This Fresh. is a very serious build. No <laughs> laughing is allowed. None. No. At all. Not at but all. But I found it. Does it say it at Heather's house? <laughs> no. <laughs> Get to work. You got your goggles on and everything. Look at her being safety conscious. It is a new year. It is a new year. So far out at sea There's no 
Well, it's not perfect, but I think it's okay. That's a hole. <laughs> a hole in there. It's that you missed or it's just a tiny bit off. So here's the thing. I'm not really concerned about it because when I looked up the kit, it's a flexible hose that you put back there. Yay. <laughs> Which is why I have the happy face because there's a hole in the wall. You can't change those in the shipping container. So I know we're off just a tiny bit. I'm going to look at it. So it's not bad at all, actually. In fact, I think if we took a board two by six on the back and a hammer and kind of tap, 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 tap. We might be able to get it even in a little bit more. Okay. Part of me thinks it won't matter that this is out a little bit. The key is just getting some air from in here. And once I actually purchase that kit, which I have to purchase because this can't be insulated around, um, but that kit's about $150. So ouch. Um, but we're going to have to have that before we can do the framing and insulating and finish all this out and it gives a finished look on the outside. So I think this might actually work. So maybe we'll go ahead and try and start a fire and see if it's pulling enough air from outside, even with it not all the way hooked in. Okay, you guys gave us some amazing tips and I'm going to try one. And then if this isn't the way that you do it and you think I should try it another way, comment below, let me know, and I'll just keep trying until I find one that works really well for us. Because <laughs> I know that's how it is in wood stove land. Everybody has their special way that they really, really like. So, let me pull some of this stuff out. And what? And I cannot remember who it is that said it, but they said put Stack some of your dry wood, and we're dry-ish here. <laughs> so I may be setting us up to fail straight out the gate. He said, put some of your dry wood down, and then put your kindling, and then put your fire starter, and then use this guy. So we had to change out the tank. We got a new tank. So this is different than how you've learned, huh, Kara? Very. Yeah, makes it hard to try something new. Um, why don't you crinkle up a paper for me? So I'm not sure. He said put your starter paper on top here. And then I think I want some wood chips. Uh, well, some people said Vaseline or candle wax and mix it in with your wood chips and then it'll start really well. We don't have that right this second, so we're going to do that. I'm looking forward to the candle wax because it'll make everything smell so good. It does smell good, doesn't it? Because it's slow. More smoke than I want. <laughs> Out here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and we couldn't 
I mean, that looks like the flames are going up. What, Kira? Oh, it's closed. We think. No, I read the instructions. Somebody else said, burn paper first because it heats up your stove pipe and then your stove pipe, a cold stove pipe won't suck air out. That was another thing that we heard. And um, so that was another reason why smoke might actually be coming out the front. We also heard that maybe this uh, damper isn't connected, but there's nothing I can do about that. The damper is inside the wood stove. So if that is the case, then you actually, I think, have to replace the entire wood stove. So we're really hoping that's not the case. Um, I would like to let you know, just in case you didn't know, paper burns really fast. <laughs> I don't think my fire's starting. What, Kara? Um, when you do that. Just do it. Just do what you're saying. Yeah. And that hooks it just a tiny bit. It hooks it just a tiny bit, and it has... Um, more of the air to go in through here okay. and less of the smoke to come out because it's rolling. So the paper burned up. The little sticks are um, doing and Kira's trick with the door actually she's genius with the fire and I get mad at her and it's me being impatient but it is actually pulling some air in um, so we have a tiny little flame We have our little air blower that we didn't bring in that Kelly bought us. Oh, the bellows. Yeah, we, we have some new it. bellows. Kelly, we forgot it. Well, we should explain where it is and why we're not going to get it. Well, it's way in the truck because we went to, we did shopping and we have to park at the end of the driveway and walk up. So we had to bring up the wagon and do three trips and we forgot it in the back. <laughs> And part of the reason why we do this is because Kimmy likes to go four wheeling a lot, <laughs> and so it's tearing up the road a bit. It's just got to dry up. Once it dries up a little bit, it won't be a big deal. I mean, it's it's going out, but that part is actually staying lit, which makes me think it is drafting. One of the other things that I think might be a problem is there's an actual plug in here and I think the plug actually has to be removed um, underneath here and I put it back in because I didn't really see anything that said remove the plug. When I had the plug removed before it was getting lots of air up in there we'd get a really big flame and it'd do really great. Um, but I put the plug back in not knowing if it was supposed to be in or out. So. Uh, if you know, let me know because it didn't say in the book there. I actually read it and it did. There didn't say anything. So that could be the other thing that's causing this is that plugs in there and that could be our problem. <laughs> okay. So I removed the plug and I can actually see the air intake that thing in the back. So that's gotta be what it is because it's just not getting enough air. So let's. Let's try again. Obviously not to 100 degrees yet because that's what it has to be for that to start. But it seems to be holding the fire, which is really good. Nice.
So my big question to you guys is this plug. Did you remove it <laughs> or what? Uh, it just seems odd. I know that the whole point of that hole in the bottom is so that you can, it's supposed to be like a clean out space and then it drops down into this side uh, drawer. Um, but that just seems fairly odd. But it seems like it's working really well and the fire's going and it's starting the wood and the smoke is coming out. We have the door closed and the damper open all the way. So it'll be interesting to watch this fire and, and when we start to close the damper, how the flames do and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I think we've figured out our fireplace problem. So that's exciting. But let me know in the comments below all your tips and tricks. All right guys, we're actually heating up. The fan starts rolling at about 80 degrees and we've got it rolling. So I wanna thank everybody that's given me the tips. I really appreciate it. And again, if you have a way that you like to start your fire, we're learning and, and I would like to know how you do yours. So comment below, let me know, and I will try, to try out everybody's way. I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you consider subscribing. Um, we are building a shipping container, tiny house, tree house, whatever you want to call it, here in northern Idaho on 73 acres. And we'd love for you to come along for the journey. Bye. <laughs> we need the metal pipe. That's right there. Chloe, Chloe is going to bark the whole time too. <laughs> so she's going to have to go inside the RV. Um, I'm so ready for all this mud to be gone. <laughs> I, I've got nothing until she brings stuff up. Soon. Very soon. Soon. Girl, you too? You too? Mad I didn't get her a chicken coop. <laughs> you want to play teeter totter? <laughs> if you get in on the other end of this uh, board that I'm stepping on here, it'll lift me up and we can play teeter totter. And you guys wonder why we Whoop. don't get anything done. <laughs> <laughs> Heather doesn't want to play with me. I'm really sad. She's in work mode. So mean. <laughs> Why you don't want to play? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>